This is Twit. So I don't know if this is going to be a big deal or not. It's not unusual that Apple will announce a new app like uh, Clips. And it just doesn't go anywhere. But I feel like this is something designed for use in the iPad and the Mac that could actually change the way we work, that could be more collaborative. On its surface, Freeform, which is coming later this year, looks like just a shared whiteboard. Big deal. There's tons of those. But you can embed video in it. You can embed web links in it. You can embed documents in it. Um, I don't know. Did, Alex, did the, did the Office Hours folks think anything of this, or was it just... I have to admit, we kind of... A throwaway. Glossed over it. I, oh, I, yeah. I think we just saw it and we're like, okay, we can draw on it. I mean, I, I, oops, sorry. I feel like it's more than a whiteboard. I feel like it's almost like Google Wave. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, I think that it's, it, it, it's interesting. I think that until we play with it, right. It's, it, it, it's hard to tell how well it will work. Yeah. I, I, I thought it's significant that it's also uh, an iPad app. Uh, so I don't know whether they're just simply trying to beef up the, beef up mac os and uh, apple's own built-in apps as a productivity suite as a way to buttress uh, against uh, the power of uh, of the google suite uh this or they could have just simply said just like the notes app this is something cool that we can do that someone someone did a head start on and we liked it enough to decide that let's just roll it into the os uh but and th this is the, this is the sort of beard stroking I do like three hours after I've been doing nothing but thinking about the, the keynote and what the things I thought might happen didn't happen. But it seems as though it's in it's in line with a lot of things that I was perceiving that it is if you think about it as a shared space with people where people come in and exchange things and collaborate. Is this a distant early warning symbol of what we're going to be seeing them do with the AR headset? That there was given that sharing is now not just simply a feature uh, that they've that uh, they've done with to achieve parity uh, for productivity apps, but there is a sharing API. There is a collaborative oh, the collaboration. API, so to speak. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That maybe mm -hmm. this is the maybe the, I, I could imagine this being like the precursor to a framework that basically says that anytime you want to have a shared space where people are coming in and participating virtually and manipulating the same objects, here is the starters of the framework you're going to be using to to do that. It it's not hard to imagine something like. That. I, I, I wouldn't make that a, a prediction of any kind, but given that we're all thinking about AR at the moment, that it's hard not to think about that so soon before the end of the year or January, which is when we're expecting to see and, hardware. And I really expect, I, I really am, you know, you're watching this uh, very slow, lumbering um, approach to, to the AR solution that it definitely could be part of that. And I think that that's the, what Apple, Apple's doing with that a lot of companies just don't have the time you know, to do and don't have the money to do is to not be in a rush to make sure they get it out right and to build an entire ecosystem around it so that when you turn it on, it's like, oh, and then we're adding this and now all everything makes sense, you know? And and I think that that's a, a level of, I mean, I think Apple probably started working on this headset 10 years ago. <laughs> you know, like it's it's not, you know, and and it's, uh, you know, if, if, if it, you know, and so I think that that's a, it's a very slow lumbering process to build the entire ecosystem out, not just build it and hope they come. Yeah, I think it's interesting. I didn't thought about the AR thing. I just, to me, why write something that already exists unless yeah. this is going to be a piece to a, a a piece of a larger puzzle? And maybe AR is part of it. Apple did a lot of things about collaboration that I thought was yeah. interesting. This reminds me of Notion, which you and I, Micah, have used. Uh, they didn't say whether it's persistent, but I assume it's a persistent space that all the participants can come and go. Uh, and it'll live on. Uh, so if you're planning a trip to, you know, with somebody, I'd use Notion for that. And then I create a, a document that Lisa can see with all the information in it that she needs. I just feel like, and, and Microsoft, by the way, is, is, has announced something similar called Loop. And, and the reason Microsoft's doing it is because they can put components from all of their apps in it, an Excel spreadsheet or a Word document. Uh, or and much more. There's a developer API. I feel like there is something brewing here yeah. in the col in the collaborative space. Maybe the VR space. Yeah. Imagine if instead of white, you had nothing, and you were wearing this, and these things were floating in your vision. You know, uh, that would be kind of interesting. Imagine the, that being a 3D space instead of a 2D space. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's just puzzling to me that they would... You, and you're right, Andy. It might have just somebody had written it and said, oh, yeah, we could yeah. release that too. It will come on Mac, iPadOS, and iOS. 
So yeah. that's interesting. It's, it, it's just that there was so that was such a, a recurring theme throughout the presentation, just collaboration everywhere, yeah. and not even just as hey, we wired up this feature so that pages could work with uh, work with groups. It's like no, here is an API so that even if a third party developer wants to make a collaborative app, they don't have to roll their own solution; they can just use our own APIs. It's, well, and it's it, good it, for it, business because it, it uses messages, it uses FaceTime. Right, I mean, it exactly. uses all the technologies. So anyway, I, maybe I'm making more of it than uh, it deserves. It just I, beard, beard, beard stroking, but that's what yeah, we, that's, that's, that's what we do. That's, that, that, that's what we do then the, for the 24 <laughs> to 48 hours after uh, after keynote.